Never before have we observed the universe with such astonishing clarity. Neil deGrasse Tyson contends that the debate on traditional physics is over. The latest discovery of the James Webb Space Telescope has finally unveiled the truth, sparking a crisis in the scientific community. Those who refuse to abandon obsolete theories to explore new possibilities regarding the true nature of the universe will soon find themselves struggling in this new scientific landscape. The James Webb, with its groundbreaking revelations, is opening the doors to an entirely new era of science, potentially unveiling the infinity of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is one of the most advanced scientific instruments ever created by humanity. With it, we can peer so deeply into time as to nearly observe the era believed to be the birth of space itself. However, the observations raise intriguing doubts, either the observed galaxies were akin to the early cosmic pioneers, or the Big Bang theory is incorrect. Imagine galaxies that, despite being in the early stages of their development, appear already mature and fully formed. The James Webb has discovered more than a dozen galaxies, dating back to 200,300 million years after the Big Bang, that were surprisingly complex, structured, and rich in stars, in a way that astronomers would only expect from much older galaxies. These discoveries shed light on previously obscure epochs of the universe and challenged the very foundations of cosmology. According to Tyson, the James Webb has triggered an epistemological crisis, questioning the standard model of cosmology, a theoretical framework that has described the development and structure of the universe from its origin to the present day. This model, which relies on the laws of classical physics, Albert Einstein's equations of relativity, and cosmic observations, is now challenged by data from the JWST, revealing phenomena that transcend the predictions of such a model. The global scientific community, including astronomers, cosmologists, and physicists, has long agreed that the universe began with a Big Bang and has since continued to expand. This narrative included an era of darkness, followed by the emergence of the first sources of light, and gradually, the formation of complex stars and galaxies. However, the observations of the James Webb tell a different story, suggesting that the standard model might have reached its limits. The discrepancies and uncertainties in the measurements of the Hubble constant, along with the subtle fluctuations of the cosmic microwave background CMB, radiation, have always raised doubts difficult to reconcile with the standard model. Furthermore, quantum physics amplifies these discrepancies, suggesting phenomena such as quantum fluctuations in the early universe and the existence of multiple realities, which could indicate that the determinism of old theories is a dead end. Tyson points out that it is a challenging time for veterans of science, as old models of thought are no longer sustainable in the face of evidence provided by the James Webb. Inflationary theories and string theory offer new perspectives, suggesting that we might have overlooked fundamental aspects of the universe, perhaps opening the door to an infinite universe or even a multiverse. These theories, although still awaiting direct confirmation, radically change our understanding of the universe, suggesting that we do not live in a cosmos that is temporally or spatially limited, but potentially in one of many parallel universes of a multiverse. String theory, in particular, emerges as the only coherent explanation capable of uniting the world of subatomic particles with the laws governing large-scale phenomena of the universe. This model, however, requires the acceptance of additional dimensions, hitherto unknown. Despite rejection by some veterans of the scientific community, the observations of the James Webb Space Telescope have called into question many of the theories previously accepted as undisputed truths for nearly a century. The telescope's ability to look back in time up to 13.5 billion years ago has revealed the existence of large and mature galaxies at an epoch when, according to traditional theories, the universe should have been young and dark. These observations indicate that the universe was already illuminated by stars at epochs very close to what was thought to be the beginning of everything. This ability to directly observe such remote periods challenges the traditional hypothesis that the universe underwent a long period of darkness before the emergence of the first stars and galaxies. If we can find even older galaxies, we are slowly getting closer to discovering the true nature of the so-called beginning of the universe. If mature galaxies existed 13.8 billion years ago, this raises serious doubts about the validity of the Big Bang model as the sole starting point of the universe. The deep image captured by the James Webb at the beginning of its mission was just the beginning of a series of discoveries that could revolutionize our way of viewing the universe. Each new image and data collected by the telescope could offer crucial clues for understanding what really happened in the cosmic past. The discoveries made so far have already shaken the foundations of physics and astrophysics, and what we learn in the future could open new horizons of knowledge.
In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope is showing us that the early universe was very different from what was hypothesized previously. As new evidence continues to emerge, the debate on the correctness of the standard model of astrophysics is now concluded. Old theories, once considered pillars of modern cosmology, now face the challenge of adapting or being replaced by new models that can better explain the observations. We are moving closer to a deeper and perhaps infinite understanding of the universe, a discovery that could ultimately prove that reality is far more complex and extraordinary than we ever imagined. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe to the channel.